And, and tell me a little bit about your background. How did you, how did you get to where you are now? Well, I have had a really interesting introduction to the flutes. I was trying to live a lifestyle of going places where people invited me. And then I got an, inspira uh, an invitation to uh, live with Matt Shooting Star in Australia as, as his apprentice, a flute maker's apprentice for the Native American style flute. And I thought, wow, that doesn't happen every day. But at the same time, I'd never used a saw before. I wasn't too sure about um, things like routers and lathes. But I took a gamble. I didn't have anything else to do. I loved the flute so much, playing it and sharing that experience with others that I thought, well, here goes. So I flew to Australia and lived with Matt. He opened his, his craft to me and I lived as his apprentice and learned everything that I could. And then he referred me on to a master flute maker in the USA, Guillermo Martinez. And I went over and knocked on his door and ended up living with him for six months and uh, feeling very blessed to have that experience of learning from such a phenomenal craftsman, learning the, the craft of the North American style flute and also Central South American style flutes, very ancient flutes traditionally made from clay like the one I'm holding here. Now he transposed this flute into the wooden one that you see now. Um, so a real, a real blessing to have learnt that, um, that craft and be able to do that here in, here in New Zealand now, back in my home with our own woods. Mm. Awesome. Um, 